into space for more than 60 years. It's a telescope so sensitive to wireless signals, even your cell phones will interfere with its work. Welcome to Green Bank, population 143. No matter where you go, it's impossible not to see this. It's known as the Green Bank Telescope, and it essentially dictates life for everyone here. It's not perfect here, but it's the only place I know of in the world that is protected from cell phone towers. Many people can't imagine living without their cell phones. 20 years ago, we didn't have those things. We're outside 90% of the time. Mostly any activities outside. It's a caring community. I think those are in your yearbook. Charles and Carolyn Sheets met here in first grade. He remembers when the telescope first came to town. What telescope? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, we really didn't know what, you know, they were talking about a radio telescope. You could pick up the entire, not just the football field, but the entire stadium from up in Morgantown from West Virginia University, and you could stick that inside our telescope. Karen O'Neill is the site's director. These really large telescopes that we use here are so sensitive that they can pick up the equivalent energy of something like the snowflake falling onto the ground. An instrument like your Sony Wii or your Wi-Fi, those signals will completely blow away the astronomical signals we're looking for. Even Green Bank's office space is protected. This is like a big vault that keeps all the electronic noise in here. And even our microwave over here, you can see the way the doors open and close, it's to, to seal in all the electronic noise. It's a dream environment for Green Bank's newest residents, like Diane Scow, who came here to escape the noise, which she believes was literally making her sick. And I came here because I was harmed by uh, emissions from a cell phone tower. And when I'm exposed to a cell phone tower, I get headaches. She's not the only one. I'm diagnosed with electrosensitivity. It's a sensitivity to wireless. Melissa Chalmers and Martin Weatherall make the trek all the way from Canada a few times a year just to get relief. When I come here, it's like my body relaxes entirely. I don't feel anything on my skin. I feel like a normal person. I did some scientific test called this telephone, and she turned it on and off uh, without me knowing. And it, every time she turned it on, my heart rate doubles. You would think not having a cell phone would be a teenager's worst nightmare. I think it's interesting that you guys are not saying, oh, I wish we had a cell phone. Yeah, we just don't really want one. Don't really need one either. It's at least in one pocket of this country, the childhood you remember still remains in some ways intact. Well, let's hope we can keep that little pocket here. <laughs> well, the kids are out there playing soccer. That telescope is going out to look for life in outer space and to try to understand the universe and how we got here. I thought people would say, oh, I wish